Hi. Welcome to the My Repair channel. See my second video episode. How to solve Sony Hi-Fi setup with no sound fault. The customer's complaint of this Sony setup is that the display is okay but there is no sound. I started testing this. I connected speaker wire to the setup but no sound. I checked the FM radio function here. Channel is okay tuned. Volume is done high level but not come any sounds. To start the repair, I completely unscrewed the cover here. I first checked the main sideboard for visible defects. For example, we have seen many cases of damage to these PCB boards due to contamination by animals like cockroaches. Circuit path disappear. Checked well and found no such errors. This is CMOS IC chip. I checked IC pin path. Connection is OK. The M16C 62T group of single chip microcomputers are built using the high performance silicon gate CMOS process using a M16C 60 series CPU core and are packaged in a 100 pin plastic molded QFP. These single chip microcomputers operate using sophisticated instructions featuring a high level of instruction efficiency. I checked of this socket, voltage and all signal is OK. And I measured voltages at next socket. This is to main amp power supply, all voltages are fine OK. OK, next I turned FM channel fine. And I was increased the volume level. Next. We need to find out exactly where the error is hidden, that is, whether it is in the preamp side or in the main amp circuit. For that I found main audio RL channel signal input point go to the main amp. Look at this photo frame. I decided to get from the two main this LR audio signal points and pass it to another power amplifier to test the sound. Next I gave the two LR signals to another amplifier and then the sound of the FM radio channel came out very well. It is tuned by the main volume controller. It is clear that the pre-amplifier side works well here. That is, it is certain that the error is in the main amplifier circuit. Then I decided to unplug the main amp circuit and check it. A single amplifier SMD sound IC has been designed for both the LR channel of this amplifier circuit. I measured all the main power supply voltages and signals supplied to this circuit. But I can't find error. I measured all the voltages supplied to the main IC and other parts well. Then I removed this sound IC and decided to install a new IC. I used for that my hot gun rework stations. Let's see how it panned out. Look. I successfully removed it. Now the IC soldering point of this circuit should be cleaned well. For that we can use circuit washing chemicals. Look at this. Then I selected a correct new IC corresponding to this IC number from my store. All ready to solder the IC. Here at the hot rework station note that the temperature value is very high and the appropriate value is around 350 C degrees Celsius. First, the IC should be installed on the correct solder pin of the circuit and soldered. After soldering by hot rework station, the IC pin is correctly re-soldered using iron solder bit using solder paste. At the end of all soldering, the circuits were again cleaned with washing chemicals. Then using a microscope lens, it was checked whether there is a short between the IC pins. When all this is finished and the setup is works fine, repair is fully success sound is coming originally. Accordingly, the faulty part here is the sound IC. All circuits and parts are reassembled properly. See next the final video with sound. Hey,